Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This one is an HP Spectre X360 also known as HP 14-EA series. And in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can replace or remove the battery on your laptop. If yours is not holding up any more charge or charge is just discharging really quickly or it's just inflated, you might want to replace yours by following this video. Just remember by replacing the video uh, by replacing the battery you're not going to change anything in the system all the configuration everything is, will be left the way it was before. And one tip is that and one thing you may want to know that once you remove disconnect the battery, you plug the battery back in and you turn it on, it will give you a text. It will say that CMOS reset to default. Don't worry, just press enter and it will just restart itself. After 5 to 10 seconds, it will just boot up again and it will work normally. That's just because the, there's no BIOS battery in here. The BIOS takes its charge from the main inside of the main battery. All right. With all this said, let's get into it and let's get started. First thing first, you want to power it off. You want to grab yourself a workshop towel and you want to flip it upside down. And you're going to work on the bottom here. We're going to see two screws. These are torque number five. Not focusing. Maybe I should grab something to focus on. I'll put this cable right in here so you can focus on that. All right, so we have these two torque screws right in here. We're going to remove those. We're going to grab our so for a screwdriver set, I'll be using an iFix screwdriver set. From this tool set, we're going to use a Phillips number zero and a torque number five. All right, we're going to remove the two screws right on the front. These are the blue color or the color of the bottom casing. You're going to put it to single side. Now, we're going to grab ourselves an opening tool or a guitar pick. You can use whichever you want an opening tool or you can just simply buy a guitar pick does the same job now at the back here there's a rubber cover but we're going to put the opening tool right underneath and we're going to lift it up about 10 or 15 degrees you don't want to lift up too much otherwise you're going to crack this plastic or break it has a little adhesive you want to run your opening tool right underneath and lift it up you're going to switch to Phillips number zero we're going to remove one, two, three, four chrome screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the commentary. I appreciate that. All right, now that we removed those screws, we're going to grab our sub the opening tool. And we're going to start from the corner back. You want to find this gap right in here. You want to stick the opening tool right in there and then you want to lift up this power and you want to hear this big click sound that's what you want to hear those are the clips are getting loose once it's opening put your finger right there and then look it just came out completely if you didn't come out completely keep working around on the side and it will eventually should pop out just like this one it just came out lift up on the back and it will come out all right so there's the bottom cover All right, and down here, you can see this humongous battery right in here. The model for the battery is an S, no, it's a WS04XL. That's the model for the battery, but if you want to get the spare part directly from HP, you have to give them this spare part number, which is an L97357-005. That's the directly, if you want to purchase from HP directly from them, you need to have this spare part number, L97357-005. I'll leave the link for a compatible battery in the video description so you guys can purchase yours. All right. First thing first, you want to, uh, let's go ahead and disconnect the battery by putting our fingers on the side of this white hook right in here. And you want to slide it towards the battery and bring it up. Now it's disconnected. Next, we want to remove one, two, three, four, five, six screws that touches the battery. So these are the shortest screws. Go ahead and remove them. All right, once you remove those battery the screws, now you can simply lift up the battery and it will come out pretty much. Somebody dropped a liquid something over the laptop. 
so I can see it's just coffee or something just dripped all over so yeah you don't want to drop anything on the laptop that's a not good sign so yeah all right so let's say that you got the new battery in it should come with its cable just like that what you want to do you want to before I put it in I screw it in I rather keep it in this position offset position so I have a little more wiggle room here to connect the jack you want to align the jack right in front of the connector and then you want to pinch it all the way in just grab them and pinch them together once it's in there just grab the battery lift it and dump it right in here the tiny plastic hooks in there it has to go right in there once you have it right there you start tightening up the screws right over now i'm gonna give you a tip on how to you start using your new battery is a really important and you should do you should be doing this once every couple of months to keep the health of the battery on a, its peak performance possible so let me just put the screws quickly all right so once we're done with this one you want to grab the bottom cover there's a tiny hook here that holds from the corner of the battery so what you want to do, you want to bring it down in a 45 degree angle, grab it in here and push it right under the battery and then push it towards the motherboard. And you see this gap over here, you just want them, you want to pinch them together and it will just snap to its place. If you see any gap opening, just pinch them. And there we go. All right, to finish it off, it put the chrome screws at the back and the uh, two screws the hex in the front to I mean hex on the torque screws Now regarding the new battery once you have the new battery plugged in you do not want to power it on right away You want to connect the charger and leave it charging at least for four to five hours or three to four hours After that you want to power on the laptop without the charger connected and you want to discharge the laptop Slowly with the brightness down to 50% stuff like that. Don't put any game or any heavy load just make sure it discharges itself slowly. Once it charges down to 20%, you want to power it off and leave it charging again for another four to five hours or three to four hours. Once it's charged on the second time, now you can just use it as you wish, while it's connected or without the charger. That initial charge and discharge, it is very important for the new battery. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.